Professor Thorwaldson Thorwaldson is my colleague at the Iceland University, and uh, he has uh, mentioned about the recent events that we have to prepare our plans for the Reykjavik. The recent earthquake is not an imminent uh, eruption risk in the near future for capital of Iceland, but we have to have our plans ready for the imminent eruption. There is a reason for that. Where the lava has been before, it can come again. We live on a mid-Atlantic reach, the oceanic is spreading reach, and when it is spreads and the thinning of the crust happens, different systems of volcanism develop as an echelon, mean one after another volcanic system, transfers the movement from one system, for example, from the Fekadesfjall and the Grindavik, Swartzengi, Hagafell, toward the other ones, and that's the way these different systems of volcanism are created. Brennstein fuel is the one that may actually, and Kristovic, may actually pose risk to the uh, Reykjavik in the future, I believe in the next 10 years, that is that amount. We have a natural risk assessment for Iceland where we have shown the hazards and the likelihood of that hazard happening. That means the risk. And these are available in a very coarse way for all of the Iceland. For, for example, for flooding due to the uh, glaciers melting, for earthquake, and for landslide, subsidence, and such things. We don't have it specifically for the capital. We have to prepare that lava has been there in the past, and people have built their homes. Developers, those big companies who build houses, they have built some around. The, unfortunately, this example in the Grindavik shows that this is not something imaginary in the future. This can happen. We have to have our plans ready for this. And when you have your plans ready, that means you can approach insurers to insure you according to the risk. Based on that, you can actually get compensation. If you don't have done that properly, you will enter a pit hole of all the troubles, like what we may have in the Grindavik. Get a survey. This is a risk assessment, preventive measures. You have to be ready what to do with the people, how to evacuate the people, which areas are in more danger, what can be done to prevent it, do we need any, any barrier around the town, where it actually may touch the town. Why wait and do something like what safety map that we have done for Grindavik and do it after this happens for Reykjavik? This is the capital of the country. And the earthquake in the area near the Reykjavik shows to us that this system is active, is there, and it may happen. One year ago, I made a video about the if the industrial system reaches Reykjavik in 10 years time. And that, that is valid to me, but different systems you may say. I added here so you can see that why I felt like that. When the mid-Atlantic reach, uh, reaches the Iceland, it has created several peninsulas. One of them is the Reykjanes Peninsula, created by the volcanic system that you see the names of them here. They are technically similar to the bodinage uh, structure, shear structures that we see in the rocks. Is the extension creating fault lines, and the fault lines through them the lava may erupt. We see them in the in micro scale in, in the rocks. You can make it with the plasticine if you have the time, a model of that. And the extension can create fault lines that the uh, um, lava can rise through them. In the case of the um, the systems, these systems are directly connected to the mantle. Fegardesville volcano was a, such a volcanic system. We found that with this a discovery that this Fegardesville was connected actually to the earth mantle through a dike. The dike is feed, fed by the mantle. And as the uh, eruption happens in this area in 2021 in Fegardesville, 22 in the Meridil, and Little Horto in the 2023, it may happen and extend to the years beyond. From 2025, will be a slight angle toward the east, uh, as you see in the uh, other systems parallel to it toward the east. And by 2030, it's quite possible that this system may reach the reckoners or the suburbs of it. 
This is the day that you will see the volcanoes actually erupting inside the town or near the outskirts of the town. This is a scary scenario. And this is one of the several scenarios that may happen. This volcanic system may not reach as far as the Reykjavik, uh, but in this model that I presented, if it reaches there, that will be just outskirts of the town.